So, hi, I'm here at the ID Tech X show with Piso Tech Arkema. Hi, Fabrice, thanks hi, for coming very good. again. How are you? Good to see you, very good, good thank you. you. What's new from Piso Tech Arkema? Tell me what you're working on. So, you know that we are developing materials, uh, piezoelectric polymers and hints based on this material. So, we are starting from this. In fact, uh, uh, okay, from the powder. So, Arkema is mainly a material supplier, so we make polymers. And from the polymer, we make inks. Uh, these things can be used by different technologies, screen printing, slot dye, uh, hair aerosol jet, inkjet. Okay, we try to develop inks for many uh, technologies. And, and what then we sell customers this powder we or, the sell ink, or both? Two, both of right. them. Both right. of them, because right. I know we want the customer to also be able to adapt the ink to their facilities. Right. Okay. And then we hope that uh, institute customers and things like that will have fun with the product. Uh, we are able, this polymer are able to convert uh, me mechanical energy into electrical energy or thermal energy into electrical energy and the, the different way when you apply a voltage you can deform and make. So we try to develop that for sensors application, pressure sensor, touch sensor, uh, infrared sensor, ultrasound sensors and also for actuators, for haptic feedback for example or for speakers. Okay. So here you have some examples of uh, devices that have been printed by your partners. For example, you can see on the booth over there, we have a par good partnership with the uh, Research that try to develop a PisoFlex technology. And with it, they are using string printing technology to make large area sensors. This is an example, or this is also here. You have an example of an array of sensors that they printed in mass production with a partner, which is Anplas. Okay. So this is monitoring not just on off, but pressure to some degree as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. So it can be used for pressure. For example, Pizoflex, you, you will yeah. see, they have a demo where they use it inside the, 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 the floor right. to make uh, pass detection and many things in the floor. Okay. We have also we have a collaboration also with Arjo Wiggins paper okay, to show that we can put our material and print them directly on paper to make, for example, touch sensor on papers. Right. Okay. We had also a collaboration with uh, uh, Chungang University, where they put a slight, a light layer of electroactive polymers from Arkema, from Piezotec Arkema, to make haptic feedback. Because when you apply, you make a contact. When you make a contact, it makes some vibration. So I need to adapt. And then it gives you haptic feedback. This is what can be seen here also. For example, we had a collaboration with CA in France, where they printed or polymer between uh, pilot electrodes and then they overmold it on uh, polycarbonate uh, parts in order to introduce haptic feedback in automotive. So this is an example. So here, if we apply a voltage to this from here, you can see that the sound is coming because the polymer will get vibrate. Okay. Then you have a sound coming back and then if you apply your finger, you will feel an haptic feedback. Oh, yeah. Here also some kind of uh, development we have. We made a demo also with uh, Chemnitz University. Chemnitz University where they printed the, the device, the, the polymers on the between the paper and that you see when it works. The sound is coming oh, yeah. from the paper. Yeah. Because the speaker is printed between two parts of papers. Oh. And now they have development to make wall to wall speakers in order to make advertisements and things like that. Oh, nice. What so do you think will be the first applications? Will it be the sensors, the haptics, or the speakers? So, as you know, Ragu, we, maybe we will know more in a few time. We also have a nice development with a very good uh, startup company which is called Novacentis which is developing, uh, using the kind of polymer, specific polymer for haptic application in wearables and augmented reality. So I strongly believe and I hope that this development will happen soon. Okay. And this is for actuators mm -hmm. and for sensors. I cannot tell everything, but hopefully we will have this year uh, some sensors coming on the market based on our technology. Fantastic. And also strongly believe that uh, young people from uh, UNM Research and PaisoFlex will succeed in their developments using our materials. Fantastic. Thank okay. you, Fabrice. I want to thank you, Ragu. It's a very nice thing to be able to be there every year at IDTechX and show you our improvements. Thank you for coming. Just... Yeah. Oh, sorry.